hogs on the mile planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. So Ravens fam, ah, uh, Ravens versus the Broncos. Or should I say chokings? Cause they be they don't be no Ravens in the fourth quarter. They be choking in the fourth quarter. And I'm talking about the defense. But uh, uh versus the Broncos. This game it, uh, I I would say should be, you know, a dominant game. But hey, let's remember, a lot of us thought last week's game should be a dominant game. And it turns out we lose by one point. We had no business losing. I had no business really giving up that many points. Because all the money is on the defense. But let me state the task. Um, so we're going against unlimited diarrhea. Um, what's that? Uh, Broncos, let's ride. Oh, you know, Bronco country. Let's ride. Um, yeah. He and he has very, very good wide receivers he's throwing. If Lamar had them wide receivers that Russell Wilson is throwing unlimited direct is throwing to. Yeah, um it'll be beautiful. But we know that might not never ever happen. Um I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but um, this is going to be a good game, um, they got rid of their Fumbelina running back in Gordon, it's funny that the Ravens was trying to get him as well, um, but yeah, so, um, and would the Ravens release him? I highly doubt it, um, but this is going to be a good one, um, we're going to see if Marcus Peters is going to bounce back. Um, you know, even he admitted, and I respect that. That's see, that's why that's my dude. He he getting cut, you know what I'm saying? But he he admits like, hey, I'm not I'm not there yet. Like he's he's going through that mental battle, and I, and I respect for I respect him saying that and admit admitting that. Um, but yeah, so uh, this should be a good game. To me, Marlon Humphrey has been our best defensive player. Uh, Marcus Williams is in practice. Uh, Hamilton is in practice. We're going to see if they play. Uh, man, we got, shoot. Man. This is going to be interesting. Um, Ojabo, I, I, I'm not really even expecting much. He probably played like the last game of December. Um, and so far to me, that's in my opinion. That was it was a wasted pick, really. It was a wasted pick because I'm I know they're picking, you know, for potential and stuff like that. But yeah, we need people to play this year after the injury of last year's. And your second round, you pick an injured player, which you know. I was excited we got him, but I thought we was going to actually move back into the second or something like that to get, you know, a wide receiver. Um, but, yeah, um, I'm not expecting Shamar anything with Shamar Bridges. Um, I know that's, I, I, that's my dude, HBCU, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm being real, I'm not expecting much. I'm not even expecting him to play. Um, so this, in case y'all don't know, this is just straight up off top of the head. For as our offense, you all know from my short clip, um, how I feel about Greg Roman. Hey, if you subscribe to me for the longest, you know how I feel about Greg Roman. <laughs> but, uh, I think the ego trip is going to continue. I think the play call is going to continue being late. Where it messes up, it messes up Lamar for his audible. It messes up the offensive line for as 
looking at the defense, talking to each other before we say hi to let them know, hey, you get this good, you get this, you do to do. So, yeah, that that all really could play a lot, you know, into that. Um, but we know that that's hard to do. But um, it's really going to be interesting to see that. I believe the defense should bounce back. They should not fumble that ball again. And when I say fumble the ball, they should not give up the double-digit leads again this season. Like, it, this is ridiculous. I've never seen something like this happen like this for the Ravens so many times in one season. It's ridiculous. But, man, I... Will the Ravens win this game? I don't know. It should I should be like, yeah, duh. But after last week, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting game, though. Because the Broncos, they got rid of Chubb, which was, uh, hey, you just got to get what you can, you know? You just got to get what you can when you're rebuilding. And they are rebuilding, technically. They're rebuilding. So are we going to make Russell Wilson look like an MVP, his best game of the year? Because we seem to do that to a lot of a lot of quarterbacks and players, wide receivers. We we seem to be like, hey, you want to you wanna make your vote for Pro Bowl or put your, put your name out there, boost up your stats? Come play the Ravens. Come play the Ravens. So that that seems like what we're doing. But I have us winning this game. Um, I really have us winning by six, maybe three, six. I I, I don't see us being dominant throughout this whole season. I don't see no dominant more. No more dominant games. The hype is done. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be an interesting off season with so much going on, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, Ravens by six or three. Um, Russell Wilson. I'm expecting Russell Wilson to throw over 300 yards, um, or close to 300. But yeah, so hopefully MP Juice Man bounce back game. Um, hopefully Cat Hamilton be out there. Hopefully Marcus Williams be out there. So I can be wrong about Russell Wilson getting that close to 300 game. Because we haven't been getting interceptions like that since Williams is out. But, you know, Marlon been doing his thing. He's been shutting people down. But, yeah, tell me what y'all think. What y'all think? Do y'all think after last week's debacle, will the Ravens be dominant this game? Put your thoughts in the comments. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Hit the share. Everybody stay safe. You know. God bless.